the Castleford Handicap Chase is next. And a full look at the runners for this two mile up. 0 to 140. The top one is Black Ascoli for Martin Leadham. Large Septier, Jim Murray, the great grey. Ryan Costello has also got the grey teller. Argira for Darren Thompson, Fiorentis Diamond, Paul Rhodes, Eclil Tech, and Bees for London for James Shea, Singita, Chrissy Day, Robertson, Mayo Picker, Daniel French, Chiller Melbourne, Graham Clutterbuck, Duchess Lancelot, Paul Rhodes, and Tin Pot Boris for Graham Clutterbuck. So 13 then. Placing the starter for this one. Being called in, and away they go. Making their way towards the first. And he's going to be the first one to lead. It's a fairly decent run to the first one as they start virtually on a turn. You can see the first fence is some way away yet. And they've got 13 to take in this. You can see in the distance there, look, the first fence quite a distance from the start. And the Great Grey is in the lead by about three quarters of a length to Large Septier in second. And then Duchess Lancelot is third with Mao Picker. Agira. Black Ascoli, the one running widest on the track in the purple. And their lead is gone. The Great Grey is gone. So the Great Grey, not so great today. And he's out of the race. That's been running really well in recent weeks as well. So a bit of a surprise there. But that's left Large Septier in the lead. So Large Septier then is three lengths clear of Mao Picker in second. The remaining Ryan Costello horse, Grey Teller. Took that one really nicely to go up on the inside of Mao Picker. Back in fourth is Singita Chrissy, then Tim Pot Boris, another grey, and Tim Pot Boris was right down on his nose there. And I can think of one or two people who'd probably like to get on Tim Pot Boris's nose at the moment. I'm sure you know what I mean. And it's large steps here, then past the winning post in the lead, then another circuit still to go. And large steps here is about four lengths clear, I would say, of Mao Picker in second and Sangita Chrissy in third. Then the Grey Teller is on the inside in fourth, and the Rhodes pair, Duchess Lancelot and Fiorentis Diamond are together with a gear of white on the track, and then Tim Bot Boris and Chiller Melbourne, the two Graham Clutterbuck Greys, Black Ascoli and the Purple Jacket is after that one, and then Bees for London and Eclil Tech are the back two as they make their way towards the next end. They're coming down towards the final mile now, that's fence number five, and they're all safely over that one with Large Septier, still the clear leader. The loose horse, the grey grey, running around for fun as they take that ditch, which they all successfully got to the other side of again with Eclil Tech just being pushed along a little bit at the back. But large Septier is clear. Coming down to this next one, that's fence number seven, and they all stream over that one nicely as well. Large Septier in the front. Aguirre is now moving into second, and large Septier made a mistake there. Went right into the top of it, and suddenly Duchess Lancelot and Aguirre and Tim Pot Morris have come through to close, and Duchess Lancelot has taken it up over that ditch. Duchess Lancelot landed in the lead from Aguirre in second. Second. Trying to fight back on the inside is Large Septier. Mao Picker's trying to run on. And Tim Pot Morris around the outside. The Grey Teller is after that one. And then Fiorentis Diamond. Beers fall under. And Singita Kusi trying to get into it. Black Ascoli looks totally beaten. So does Chilla Melbourne. But it's Duchess Lancelot then on the outside of Large Septier. With Aguirre back in third. Tim Pot Morris going well in fourth. Mao Picker in fifth. Then the Grey Teller trying to run on with Fiorentis Diamond. Beers fall under. And Singita Kusi. I think we can probably forget the rest of them. A couple of heads poking into shot. But it's now Duchess Lancelot in the lead over the 10th they go Duchess Lancelot landed in the lead from Large Septier second the Grey Tedder up the centre of the track he's going best of all in third they've got th two, three more to take that was the third last and there was a four there Chiller Melbourne's gone but it's Large Septier back in front Large Septier Duchess Lancelot Mount Picker over the second last and he's gone the lead is gone Large Septier's fallen and Mount Picker's been left in the lead it's Mount Picker from Duchess Lancelot Duchess Lancelot lands over last in front here comes the Grey Tedder throwing down a big challenge again he's trying to run on it's Duchess Lancelot on the inside. The Grey Teller on the outside. Duchess Lancelot still asserts and wins. Duchess Lancelot wins it. The Grey Teller second. Aguirre third. Then Fiorentis Diamond Singita Chrissy. And Black Ascoli, the top white, not on a going day today. He's right out the back. And Paul Rhodes is having a good week. That Royal Ascot is having a good week over the jumps as well. And Duchess Lancelot takes it. 366 to one shots. One, two, three, that'll be a good try cast, wouldn't it? Uh, let's take a look then. Duchess Lancelot for Paul Rhodes, the winner. The Grey Teller for Ryan Costello, second. Aguirre for Darren Thompson, third. Fiorentis Diamond for Paul Rhodes, fourth. And Bees Fall Under for James Shea was fifth. And one or two of them falling when they were in with a chance. Large Septier, especially falling at the second last. We looked to have every chance of taking it.